Namaskaram to you all. Welcome to another session, Coffee with Vaz. Today something strange happened to me as I was going to work because I had to go to court. I had a court case I had to fight for and uh, all went on well. A stranger just came to me, a guy, and wished me good morning. I just didn't like his look, so I chose to ignore him, tuck my head down and I walked. Then he went, hey, what's your problem? And I said, what? I wish you good morning. Do you have the decency to wish me back? I say, wait a minute. It's up to me to wish or not to wish. If you feel like wishing me good morning, go ahead. But it's up to me to wish you back. Am I right? That's my right. I pick and choose who I want to associate myself with, who I want to engage in a conversation with, whose phone call I want to answer, whose phone call I want to ignore. It's my rights. So you can't force me to do something which I don't feel comfortable doing. Gone were the days in Malaysian Airlines when you have to, Hi, welcome aboard, sir. So nice to see you back again. You said, You heard a perfect tali arka one the time, the passenger. Some passengers face like a yod, like the bloody bus hit 20 times. And I say, Hi, sir, you're looking so pleasant today. Fake. Enough of being fake. Because my work in the airlines aviation industry expect me to be fake. So I had to play the part. If you're in Rome, be like the Romans. If you play a a part of a clown, you better start juggling. So, it in the park upon our car. And phone conversations as well. If you don't give your phone number, please do not call me. Right? And secondly, coming back, engaging yourself in a conversation. Why I pick and choose? Because some people, when I have a conversation, I'll end up thinking, Vasuntra, why are you insulting your intelligence? Having a conversation with that person is an insult to my intelligence. So why bother? But for them, it benefits their intelligence because you know why? They become more intelligent by having a conversation with me. But to me, it's an insult to my intelligence. Sometimes you go and look at Facebook, you know, the way people have conversation. <laughs> this is what you call self-confidence. They think they know it all, seen it all, done it all. The bragging stories, they go on and on and on. Sometimes I feel, why am I watching this in the first place? Ah, entertainment. Because the fool is making a fool out of himself in order for me to be entertained. And always I look at these people and I tell myself, thank God I'm nothing like them. So, <laughs> it'll be surprising though. I'm not being arrogant or rude. It's a fact. Think about it. Sometimes you're forced to have a conversation with the person that the words are forced to come out. The smile forced to smile. Hi. But deep down you say, yo, leave me alone. La. So, even when that person when you're trying to have a conversation with, you always answer with a full stop. When I meant a full stop, it's a dot, it's a full stop. This is a portu, not a full stop, full stop. So they should know this person is not interested in having a conversation with you. But when they always talk to you, there's always a question mark. Expect you to answer. as what they say. Once, especially in our Indian community, la, it was a pub. An Indian man was having a beer. And an Irish man went inside. And he told the Indian man, no offense, but I was always told, an Indian always answers a question with another question. Guess what the Indian man said? Who said that? Kipikalla. And some people, when they speak, especially in media, let it be Facebook or YouTube, the terms they use. What la day? He let that la, lead it la yo, please la yo. <laughs> but I still watch, you know why? Entertainment. Like a stand up comedian. But not a good joke, a very bad joke. Because, you know, God created those people. He meant it as a joke. But when they exist in planet Earth, it turned out to be a bad joke. And everyone thinks they are a comedian, natural comedian, but believe me, <laughs> they're like a walking septic tank. When they open their mouth, you know what comes out. What do you see in a septic tank? That's what comes out in their mouth. And somehow, you know, nowadays they're having two-way conversation. Oh, you the trend. Yama, yama, yama. <laughs> Facebook, they're going to invite one person also. 
<laughs> that person is as usual, like equally dumber, like that person we invited. You know, that's where they call you know the repeat uh, the repeat conversation of the dumb and the dumbest. Us because uh, all that kunchu kunchu will be putting the commentary all equally tin kosong. We call it in Tamil kosakavadi. Sad, la, really sad, you know, and the conversations they have. Hey, you know, la, that one, la, this one, I, this one, la, ya, la, <laughs> you know, la, you know, la. They, t they talk among themselves and they laugh and they think it's funny. And then I go, did I, did I lose out the joke? Where's the punchline, eh? Okay, 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 enough, enough. <laughs> Don't continue. Don't make an utter fool out of yourself. And the topics they choose and the things they claim themselves to 